In this week's Celebrities, They're Just Like Us edition, and that's not a real thing that we have here, but don't um, have that. We'll we'll talk about the six craziest like health tips that celebrities do and Ooh. how it would affect you if you tried it. And um, one of them is my favorite, and we're gonna start off with my favorite because I'm selfish. Okay. We're gonna talk about Steve Jobs. So apparently, number six, Steve Jobs washed his feet in toilet water and also uh, thought that if he ate enough fruit, he wouldn't need to bathe himself. Okay. And a lot of people around him disagreed with that concept. Earlier in Steve Jobs' career, um, management still obviously saw the genius in him, but they were not, they, they weren't happy with his hygiene uh, that they even moved him to the night shift. Okay. What do you think about this? What do you think about generally? Like, is there a lot of people out there now that uh, refuse to put on deodorant and um, they, they do it because they think that it like affects your pH levels and there's a chemical imbalance when you use deodorants and other like non organic things on your body? And I think there's a very real reason behind why those, those people do it, but like the outcome of it is kind of selfish, in my opinion. What do you think? Okay. Uh, well, I don't, I mean, I don't know. If I would go so far as to say selfish, because everyone should you know respect their own body, and I know that there is also a little bit of a um, a scare that certain deodorants can uh, be a cause of cancer with it, breast cancer within some women. So I, I mean I think everyone has their reasons for whatever they want to do with their bodies with regards to hygiene. That being said, um, unfortunately we live in a society where people care about how you smell. They don't really care if you don't smell, but if you do smell unpleasant, then that might affect your relationships, your professionally, interpersonally. So that's just something to keep in mind. You don't necessarily have to um, wear deodorant or you know bathe a certain way. You can you can do you, but just be aware that it will affect. Um, and there your are life. enough natural remedies to eliminate that problem mm -hmm. in this day and age, especially. There are a lot of like organic, non-GMO, whatever deodorants out there or soaps that you could utilize. Um, so you know. Uh, because it, it will affect your relationships, because it's not pleasant to be around. Uh, anyway, moving on. Shailene Woodley, a fan of the show, not Pop Trigger with the Young Turks, worships like, the not sun. This show. <laughs> worships the sun with her hoo-ha. And what she uh, means by that is that she likes to <clears throat> give her vagina a little, in her words, a little vitamin D. And she's not talking about. Like it's not that's not a sexual joke. I mean, it's a double entendre about penises and vaginas. Ha ha. Let's move past that. But yeah, she uh, thinks that it cures yeast infections and other genital issues. Well, I've heard about this before. Uh, the sun and the vitamin D that it can provide is definitely um, a healing agent when consumed in moderation. I'm not sure that that sort of uh, health. Uh, and wellness procedure would be for me, but if it's for someone else, I think that that's fine. I, I'm surprised that it wouldn't sort of like, sorry guys, like dry her out. I don't know. I'm not really sure about the. the well, you have one, so I am you aware. can you can talk about this. Well, I, I just think. mean that like it's no. One, I mean, no one wants to talk about a dry hoo ha. It's not really the cutest uh, hoo -ha. topic. Um, be more Midwestern. It mom says right hoo ha. I'm using their word. It's their word. <laughs> Um, I, I would just think that you know there there's a there's a lot of uh, uh, acidic and basic components to a hoo ha as I understand. I actually I have one. I know very little about it. Uh, it's alleged. Um, so I would just say do whatever feels best for you. But if it, if you're if you get sunburned, it could be a problem. Simon Cowell mm -hmm. enjoys sheep placenta facials, blasts his face with oxygen, and gets wrapped up like a taco. Well, obviously none of that is working because I don't think that Simon Cowell is synonymous with an ageless beauty. So, uh, how dare you? I'm just saying. I mean, that's. It seems like if what you if have, he's if I 700 put, years old and he only looks like a strapping young 65 year old man, then I would stand corrected. Absolutely, very good point. I would just say if I was having a sheep placenta on my face, I better look like a dime all the time. Uh, otherwise, not, he blasts his not face with five hundred dollars of pure oxygen. Um, Isn't pure oxygen like a thing that they've used in weapons at like in, yeah. in, in adventure movies? Yeah, like it lights on fire. It's like highly yeah, it's like pure stuff. oxygen. Um, yeah, it's dangerous. a five hundred dollar aerosol can uh, filled with pure oxygen that he blasts his face with uh, in order to keep it, uh, you know, yeah. rejuvenate his skin and yep. reduce stress. And um, yeah, he. Uh, he likes to he likes to do that. 
Um, I don't know who Alicia Silverstone Alicia is. Alicia Silverstone is from Clueless. Okay, but she feeds her son like a mama vulture. Yeah, I've seen that before. That's a video. She, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't think she does that anymore. The video came out when he was like an infant. I think that he's, I've, I've seen her. She actually goes to a yoga studio near my home. I'm actually not sure it was her. She was wearing sunglasses and it could have been anyone, but I like to believe that it was Alicia Silverstone. Would you ever In do fact, that? I was driving in my car. Is I that what you're gonna short. do to your children? No, I will not do that to okay, my children. Okay, Peter Thiel, a uh, notorious villain of the planet. Uh, oh, and yeah. uh, <laughs> notable freedom of speech advocate. <laughs> Who essentially uh, de destroyed Gawker, and what Gawker did was kind of messed up, uh, you know, outing Peter Thiel. But then they paid dearly for it uh, by proxy of the Hulk Hogan sex tape that was out. What a weird series of events by Peter Thiel. Notable Donald Trump supporter Peter Thiel okay. is interested in <laughs> injecting himself with blood to become immortal, and also because he just wants to be a super villain. Honestly, like I think he just wakes up every morning. He's like, I am Peter Thiel. He I am a super with villain. Blood? Um, that just yeah. gave me well, goose this flesh. is like not Look. even a goose flesh. Yeah. From well, that. why did you get goose flesh? From like, the him uh, injecting himself with blood. We all love vampire stories. This is literally a like this is the oldest tale in the book. Is that if you. Um, Tale as old as time, blood inside my veins. I'm gonna give you to Peter Thiel to suck Someone your blood. Someone said it's weird. Someone said it's strange. But a man can't change. Anyway, yeah, he has uh, he has more money than the GDP of Greenland, and he's obsessed with uh, he's obsessed with prolonging his life as best as he possibly can. And it's called parabiosis, by the way, which is the technical term for this. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, it's, I mean, he uses animal blood. No, allegedly. I need to know less about this. Allegedly. <laughs> and um, mm. by the way, there are studies that uh, concluded that this actually works on rodents. So. Well, they're just like humans, so then it must be true. I mean, first of all, they, I mean, they're, <laughs> There could be a reason behind why organic life forms actually inject themselves with blood and uh, reverse the process of aging. I would be interested to find out from a medical curiosity, a medical fascination, and also because, yeah, Peter Thiel, call me, man. I, I want to figure this out with you. Um, just kidding, because I feel like then I'd be locked up in a basement somewhere, being drained of my blood for the rest of my life. But it is Muslim blood. I don't know what Peter Thiel thinks about that. Anyway, last one is notable celebrity, uh, notable celebrity like lifestyle guru who well, an Oscar-winning. Uh, Actress. Became uh, yeah, she was an Oscar-winning actress, and then decided, you know what, this Oscar stuff, this acting stuff, is kind of crazy. Let's just take it to a whole new level. And uh, you might know her from Goop. Her. You're her, talking about Gwyneth Paltrow. I'm talking about Gwyneth. Paltrow. But I would love to imagine that the meeting with her agent when she decided to start Goop went like that. When she was like, "Yo, this Oscar stuff is kind of crazy. Let's take it to a whole new level. I'm gonna start a lifestyle brand. I'm Gwyneth Paltrow. What's good?" If she talked like that, she'd be way. That's cool. what you were like. You were like, I've "Let's take her, it to a I've whole new level." I've heard her speak level. about Goop. Goop. <laughs> group. I've heard her speak about Goop before. It's ridiculous. It is. I it's really it's kind of it elitist. Is. It's ridiculous. Gwyneth Paltrow, what are you doing? Why do you ritualistically burn your underwear and also steam your nether regions? Her butt? Why do you do that? Well, look, um, uh, she has toxic residues, as she says. And In her butt? that's why. Uh, <laughs> toxic residues? I thought my dog had that. I don't think humans can have How toxic residues. How dare you say no, that? No, sometimes. About no, no, no. He really can have you toxic mean when he farts? residue. No, sometimes when he just. He doesn't you know, like walking too much, does he? No, he doesn't. Oh, poor guy. Anyway, um, but yeah, I mean, look, Goop. If just go check out Goop. There's a lot of weird health tips on there. For example, secreting an eighty-eight dollar jade egg up your vagina will um, will will heal your vagina. No, it won't. It won't do that. Why? Well, you don't know that. Have you ever secreted it? Grace doesn't know. Or do you? Have you tried secreting? What if I egg? had one in right now? Yeah. I have a, I have an egg in there right now. Yeah, you know what a really good form of birth control is, by the way, going to Goop and practicing the things that you see on there, and then, you know, just basically ruining your body in that way. Oh my God, I'm, I'm sure there's some Goop fans on here because, like, Gwyneth Paltrow's fans are like obsessed with Goop, and I've made fun of it before in a podcast. Uh, to a dude who was uh, like trying out that uh, cocktail that she put out there that was like six hundred dollars. 
mm-hmm. with like gold crystals or whatever the fuck's in it. Mm-hmm. And he was like, um, it actually works. And I'm really, I'm really upset that you said that just now. Like I, I invited you onto this podcast because I'm a fan of yours and um, your opinion on Goop kind of upset me. Wow. But we want to hear from episode. you guys. Uh, would you try any of these celebrity <laughs> remedies? Uh, do you think they're crazy? What would happen if you tried these celebrity remedies? Are you uh, Gwyneth Paltrow? Us, are you Gwyneth Paltrow? Are you following us? Yeah. Let me know. And uh, leave us your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger. <laughs>